Now, Libya's new rulers are increasingly being accused of the kinds of abuses they were rebelling against when they overthrew Colonel Gaddafi. Insert, the number of people allegedly executed has risen to 300. Now, this comes on top of criticism that Gaddafi's body was put on public display inside a meat market fridge for five days. RT's Anissa Nawe reports now from Tripoli. One of the major concerns here are light weapons, uh, firearms that are, are massively in the hands of the population here. There are efforts from the NTC to try to collect them, get people to willingly disarm and bring their weapons back. But so far, it doesn't look like that idea is working out. We went to one collection center, if you will, yesterday. It covers an area of Tripoli. And for the entire day, only about 10 or 12 AK-47s had been re returned. Just to give you an idea of what that number means, walking down one or two blocks here in the capital, you can see maybe two times or three times more uh, that amount of automatic weapons being waved around. Uh, but even more serious concern here in terms of security about weapons storage, arsenals, unguarded uh, warehouses full of weapons. What happens if those weapons get into the wrong hands? Already, Human Rights Watch has expressed grave concern about ground-to-air missiles that could essentially uh, hit civilian aircraft if they get into the wrong hands. So the security situation here, a uh, very, very sensitive. Uh, just recently, some 300 people were found murdered in CERT with their hands tied behind their back. That is sparking accusations of, of political executions, which is exactly what these former rebels were fighting against. Uh, another thing that, that, that just stinks, if you will, of hypocrisy, of course, is the way that Gaddafi was killed. I mean, we saw uh, the brutal, gruesome footage that went viral. The whole world watched, including, of course, Libyans here. Uh, and although uh, a lot of the things you're seeing uh, in the mass media is people just full of elation that Gaddafi is de that dead, when you go out and speak to people and, and push them a little bit, you do find that there are a lot of people here that are hesitant to express uh, just just horrible feelings about the way he was killed, uh, not to mention the fact that he wasn't, of course, buried according to Muslim tradition. Uh, he was put out on display for days, and only after uh, thousands of people came to see him was he finally buried. So, so it's not exactly as it seems from afar what people feel about Gaddafi uh, when you come here and actually start talking to them. Uh, that, however, not the case in the West, where you have some people very outspoken and happy about the way Gaddafi was killed, especially the mass media and experts are telling us that's because Gaddafi, with him to the grave, took many of his secrets of dealings with the West.